Hello and welcome back to another Roblox Studio video. In this video, we'll be covering collision groups. This feature allows certain parts to collide with each other, but not collide with other parts. So let's get started. First, you want to go into the Model tab and go click on Collision Groups to open up the menu. I'll put it right here. Um, and I'll make it wider so we can actually see it. So here's the collision groups editor. It starts out with default and default is able to collide with default. In this video, we'll get players to be able to go through each other. But because we can't really get two players in studio, we'll be using a part. So I'll just create a part, move it up so we can test it, the player we're trying to walk through, let's anchor it. So this feature also only works if can collide is turned on or else they'll just not collide. So let's add a group. Let's call this players and we're gonna use the physics service in this to set this part's collision to players and let's have players not collide with players. Let's just start here. Now let's say game.players.player added connect function player is the pass parameter and then also now we want to make sure every time the character is added so we we'll use player.character added connect function let's just call the character char for short so now we want to go through every single part in the player's character and set those collisions to the collision group editor down here set it to players so let's start by doing this we'll make a for in loop so we won't need the number but we will definitely need the part so let's just say for underscore part in pairs character colon get descendants this will get every single thing parented or is an ancestor to the character. So now we'll use part is a base part. Well, actually, if part is a base part, then we'll use game colon get service physics service and we'll set part collision group. What this function does. The first parameter for it is the part, so let's just say part. The second one is actually the string of the collision group, so let's just say players. But also, I wanted to try with the part, make sure the player can walk through this. So let's also set this part to player. So let's do game colon get service, physics service, set part collision group, part. Uh, workspace dot part and set that under players. Now let's test this, see if it works. Also from the previous video I made sprint script, so now let's see. Wait a second. Now here's the debugging process. You gotta make sure that these it works. Oh yeah, now I just realized this character added probably only works the second time you do it. So we'll have to say it at the start. So player dot character. Oh, have to make another for loop here. Now, if part is a uh, base part, then game get service. I probably shouldn't be using this game calling get service a lot of times. I can just set that as a variable for purposes. I'll just now let's test this. Maybe we should try waiting for it. Mm, 
No, this should work. As you can see, we can go through this part successfully. So if you want to implement this into your game, you can just have this part of the script. I'll have this in the description down below for you to copy and paste it if you need to. Also join the Discord server in the, with the link down below. And stay tuned for more videos.